Hey everyone, so this is part two of my AI coloring book series. So I decided to make a butterfly coloring book also with flowers. I am really excited for this. I researched this niche quite a while ago and I just didn't make a book for it. So I figured I might as well make one now with this. It is kind of competitive, but I plan to price this a bit lower at first just to see how it goes, but I'm really excited. So I actually decided to change the size. It's no longer eight and a half by 11. It's now eight and a half by eight and a half. This should say 8.5. Um, I don't think it just loaded. I don't think I refreshed the page, but you can see here that it's eight and a half by eight and a half um, within the measurements on the side. So I'm really excited for this. The reason that I changed the size is because these images come out kind of more of like a square. And with the eight and a half by 11, it left a lot of white space and I wasn't really sure how I was going to fix that. So I figured it would be a lot easier to just change the size of the actual coloring page. So I also have a border around the edge. I've done a few of them already. Well, just two actually, because I wanted to show you guys exactly how I'm doing this. So I'm going to hit start again. And... I'm going to just see here if it's going to do something different. I'm going to just type in pretty. See if it'll give me some different images than it already gave me. I haven't actually tried to search the same exact words and see if it gives me something different. So that's something I'll probably try in this video. Um, but I put a border around the images because you're not supposed to use just the plain images that Canva gives you. You're supposed to kind of add some sort of flair or anything else really just something else so that way it's not the same duplicate pages over and over again and you're not just taking someone's exact work like you're actually mixing it with something else so that's why i added a border i added a thin border um because it just seems like it might go better rather than a thicker one but i may change my mind later on so it looks like it generated one so far and this is just a simple butterfly um, it looks like this one's not an image. Oh, no, it is. So all of them so far have been images that you can edit here. And I've been having to remove the background because there's been like some sort of background to them. Even though it's very light, I think it might just mess up the kind of overall look of the coloring book. So I've had to remove the background on all of them, which this is definitely a pro version um, like benefit. So I'm not sure if that's something that will be super beneficial if you have the free version, but you can kind of decide that for yourself. So that's kind of just a plain butterfly rather than the ones that I have. So since this is a butterfly and flowers coloring book, I'm just going to do flowers and see what comes up for that to generate image. And then I'll show you guys where I get the border from and kind of how I put the border on. Just going to give it a minute. I also plan to be skipping a page here so that way people have another, um, just like a page that's going to be blank so that they don't have to worry about coloring and then it's going through and then it's ruining another image or things like that. So I'm just going to be adding a blank page in between all of these. I realize that I actually might have messed this up. Oh no, I didn't. Great. <laughs> so this is actually a really cool design. I love this. Um, I actually love the other one too. So I'm going to duplicate the page and get both before I end up losing them. Sweet. So before I do those, let me just show you real quick how I got the border. So I went to elements and then I just typed in thin frame and it was this one right here. And once I clicked on it, it just showed up. And then I lined it up with the little box that's um, already in the document. So I'm really excited. I'm going to keep going. I'm not sure how many pages I'm going to do. When I was looking at some of the competitors, they actually were making um, like one was 70 pages, one was 100 pages. I'm not sure if they were double sided or not, but I'll probably make at least 25 actual coloring pages. And since I'm skipping a page, it'll probably be 50 pages total. I might do more depending on how I'm feeling, but so far that's kind of my minimum goal. But I just wanted to hop on here real quick and kind of give you guys an example of how I'm creating the coloring book so you can follow along with me. And I'm just really excited. Um, if you are creating your own book, I would love to hear about it in the comments. Or if you try this out for yourself and have any tips, feedback, or anything, feel free to let me know. 
So thank you guys so much for watching and listening, and I hope you have a great day.